This video is sponsored by DNG Law. More on them later. The bug out event is starting around the world in Pokemon Go. And as always, I want you guys to be ready for this event. So let's go through everything you need to know. So this event is gonna be going down April 12th, 10 a.m. to April 17th at 8 p.m. your local time. Bonuses during the event will be two times XP for catching Pokemon on nice throws or better. You also get more candy for catching Pokemon on nice throws and more XL candy for catching Pokemon on nice throws if you're level 31 or above. There'll also be an increased shiny odds on shiny Combi and shiny Burmy. Of course, there'll be Pokestop showcases during the event for the different wild spawns. And those wild spawns will include Caterpie, Weedle, Shock, Shuckle, Wurmple, Cricketot, Combi, Swaddle, Dwebble, and rare spawns for Ninkata and Cutie Fly. As far as raids go, the one star raids will have Pineco, Shuckle, Ninkata, Skaroopy. Three star raids will have Beedrill, Pinsir, Cleavor. Five star raids will have Tapu Bulu, and Mega Raids, of course, will have Mega Charizard X until April 13th, switching into Mega Heracross. And if you do defeat a raid for the next 15 minutes near that gym, Pokemon spawns will be boosted, kind of like a lure. Of course, we'll have new exclusive avatar items you can go ahead and check out on screen, which are pretty cool. You know, they got the cool earrings and stuff. What's up guys, Daxi from the future, and I wanna talk about the research going down during the event. First of all, there will be field research tasks with the task, catch five Pokemon for either three of the Burmies, make three great throws in a row for a Dupiter or a Wimpod encounter, make three curveball throws for a Paris or a Venonat encounter. You can actually run from those Paris tasks and stack those Paris tasks for future Stardust events to get more Stardust. Like during Bellsprout Calm Day on April 20th from 2 to 5 p.m. Also, trade a Pokemon will get you a Carablast or a Shelmet, and evolve three Pokemon will either get you 25 Mega Beedrill, 25 Mega Pinsir, or 25 Mega Caesar Energy. Finally, there'll be four exclusive collection challenges with the Bug Out Collection Challenge 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, pretty much requiring you to catch different wild spawns, evolve the different wild spawns, and that will get you some cool encounters, as well as a Sheninja for the last one, which is a pretty rare Pokemon and pretty rare Shiny um, if you need that for the Pokedex. There's also gonna be an event in this event, the Mega Heracross Raid Day, April 13th from 2 to 5 p.m. During this event, of course, Mega Heracrosses will be spawning everywhere in raids, and if you defeat one, you'll get some Mega Energy as well as a chance to catch Heracross, which will have a rate of one in 10. Bonuses to the event, will have five free raid passes from spinning gyms and the remote raid limit will be increased to 20 on April 12th and 13th. And if you do defeat a raid for the next 15 minutes near that gym, Pokemon spawns will be boosted. Finally, there'll be a ticket you can go ahead and buy for the Mega Heracross raid day costing you $5 USD, but it will get you eight additional free raid passes for a total of 15. You'll have more chance of getting rare XL candy when completing raids. You'll get 50% more XP from raids and two times Stardust from completing raids. So overall, if you love Mega Heracross, play this mini raid day in there. With the event details of the way though, let's get right into the tips, starting with, as always, what are the best spawns during this event? First of all, we have Weedle in there, which evolves into Beedrill. Beedrill, of course, does have a mega form in the game right now. You can get some good XL candies and good IVs for. And Beedrill also does see some play in some limited Great League Cups. Dwebble's also in there, which evolves into Crustle. Crustle does see some play in some limited Great League Cups as well. Also, Combi is in there, which does get you 750 Stardust every time you catch it. So make sure you catch those Combis. That's probably one of the best spawns during the event because it gets you more Stardust. But really, that's about it. The spawns aren't that great. I will mention though, Caterpie, Weedle, and Wurmple all only cost 12 candies to evolve, which can be great to work on an evolving metal and get more XP, which we'll talk about a tip later in this video about that. With the spawns out of the way though, let's jump right into the raids. What are gonna be the best raids? In the one stars, you can go after Skaroopy, which evolves into Drapion. Drapion is good in the Great League and in the Ultra League, so not a bad Pokemon to raid there. In the three star raids, of course, we'll see Beedrill, which you already mentioned, but Pinsir is also in there, which does have a mega form in the game right now if you wanna get a good IV for that Pokemon and is also just a good bug type ray attacker by itself. So overall, not bad to raid. In the five star raids, we see Tapu Bulu, which actually will know its new legacy move, Nature's Madness, when you catch it during this event. Nature's Madness on Tapu Bulu is really gonna help out in the Master League. This Pokemon can actually completely wall Palkia and is also really good against Landers, which are two of the most popular Pokemon in the Master League right now. So it's gonna be a great addition, a very healthy addition to the Master League and a Pokemon you're gonna want because it can really core break some strong teams. Also, Tapu Bulu is a good grass type ray attacker, so it's not even bad to powered up for that reason either. Finally, in the Mega Raids, we have Mega Charizard X, which is great to raid if you can for the first day. So you can get some Mega Energy because Mega Charizard Y is a top fire type ray attacker in Pokemon Go. But Mega Heracross is gonna be the main one you wanna raid during the raid day or after the raid day because Mega Heracross is the number one bug type ray attacker in the game. And also Heracross is a regional Pokemon. So you can actually get it anywhere in the world right now because Mega Heracross is in the Mega Raids. Super cool. Now, something I've been noticing and people have been pointing out is there's been a lot of great XP grinding events. And this one is no 
different. The question is why a lot of people have the theory that level 60 is coming soon, so Niantic wants to give us a lot more XP. Let me know what you think of that theory in the comments section below. But during this event, you do get two times XP for hitting nice throws or better. If you hit an excellent throw in Pokemon Go, you get 1,000 XP. That's gonna be 2,000 XP during this event. On a Lucky Egg, 4,000 XP. If you need XP, hit excellent throws during this event. Now, granted, most of the spawns are bug types and they're really, really small and have small circles, so it's kind of hard to hit excellent throws. Still, see what you can do. Try your best because this is a great event for grinding XP, like the past five events we've had. But Niantic is giving out free XP right now. Wait, before we continue with the tips, I need to give a huge shout to today's sponsor, DNG Law. DNG Law is a multidisciplinary law firm which can help you with any of your lawyer needs. If you're in Ottawa, Ontario and need any sort of legal help, like if you stole all my shiny luck, I'm looking at you, Rubber Ducky 456 you know who you are. Then click the first link in the description or in the pinned comments, send them a message and they will be happy to help you out. Also, the owner plays Pokemon Go, which is super cool, although I've seen his account. His shiny luck makes me a little bit salty. Anyway, thanks again to DNG Law Firm for sponsoring this video. Click the link in the description. Back to the tips. Now, although the spawns are not amazing during this event, I still do want to cover my candy tips because you can get a lot, a lot of candy during this event for some of these Pokemon, and the candy is actually going to be useful for evolving them, which again, we'll talk about in a little bit. To get more candy for a Pokemon during this event, remember, we do have the bonus of more candy for getting nice throws or better. So do focus on those nice throws. You'll get more candy, XL candy, you know, just try to be hitting nice throws or better. I do believe the better throw you get, the more candy you get. I think it's like plus three candies if you hit an excellent throw. So again, focus during this event throw accuracy is going to be very important. You can also, of course, use pineapple berries to get more candies. Regular pineapple berries will require catch candy by two and silvers by 2.34. So definitely use pineapple berries on, um, you know, those Caterpies, Weedles, Wurmples, stack those candies up. Of course, you can go ahead and mega evolve a Pokemon. If you don't know when you mega evolve a Pokemon, any Pokemon you catch that shares a type with the mega, you'll get more candy, XP, XL candy, all of that stuff. In terms of what mega to mega evolve during this event, of course, a bug type. This is literally called the bug out event. So you could mega evolve either a mega Drill, a mega pincer, a Primal Kyogre or a Mega Caesar, all of those will work well and get you more candies for bug types. Make sure you have a bug type Mega Evolved when you are grinding any Pokemon during this event. You can also, of course, trade Pokemon. If you don't know when you trade away a Pokemon, you'll get a free candy. But if the distance scene where those two Pokemon were caught was over 100 kilometers, like if you trade a Pokemon from New York with a Pokemon caught in Paris, you're gonna get one guaranteed XL candy and two extra regular candy. So if you have a friend who has some distance Pokemon, go ahead and trade. If you don't still trade away your Pokemon, you're gonna get more candies. And also some of those Pokemon could go lucky in which lucky Pokemon have a one in 64 chance of being a hundo. So if you wanna get hundos, mirror trade any Pokemon with your friend. It doesn't have to be a mirror trade. You could trade like a Weedle for a Caterpie. You want a hundo Caterpie. Get your friend to trade you a bunch of Caterpies. One of them could go perfect IV. And finally, you can go ahead and transfer Pokemon. Unfortunately, no two times transfer candy event for the rest of the month, but you can go ahead and wait until next month and hold on to some Pokemon. You probably don't have to do this because none of the candies are that valuable, but yeah, that's an option for you. Hold on to Pokemon and transfer them during the next two times transfer candy event in what's the next month? May, April, May, May. <laughs> and finally, that brings us to our platinum metal tips. You need 35 platinum metals, go from level 48 to 49 Pokemon Go. Which ones should we be working on during this event? Of course, bug catcher metal, catch 2,500 bug types. Super easy to do during this event. If you don't finish this by this event, I'm, I'm a bit disappointed. I guess it is a short event. We do have the rising snar metal, defeat 150 species of Pokemon in raids. If you take a look at the raid roster, if there's any Pokemon you've never raided at least once, do one raid for them to get a point towards this metal. I think I've raided everything at least once here, maybe not Ninkata, so I'll do a Ninkata raid to get a point towards this. But the most important metal is gonna be this one, the Scientist Metal, Evolve 2000 Pokemon. Remember, again, Caterpie, Weedle, Wurmple, all 12 candies to evolve. Stack up their candies, stack up them, and evolve them during this event because you can get points towards this metal. There also is a lot of field research tasks during the event, so if you wanna work on your Ranger Metal, you haven't completed that, this can be a great event because the field research tasks are pretty, pretty easily. And finally, of course, the Showcase Star Metal, win 100 Pokestop Showcases. Every event has showcases, this event is no different try to win them if you can, get the biggest um, biggest bugs you can, put them in the showcases, try to win it. Again, going to rural showcases, you're gonna have a much higher odds of winning because there's gonna be less competition. So if you can do that, do that. If not, just, just try your best. Then maybe one day you'll get that um, PhD Pikachu, that super rare Pikachu. Guys, that is the bug out event. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click the one below. You will enjoy that one as well. And of course, stay tuned for many more tips videos for the other events going down this month. Like I think sustainability week is next week, which will be a fun one as well. Ball for tips, peace.